Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a beautiful candlestick chart. This chart is mostly used for stock prices on the market and I'm going to show you step by step how to create it. If you like the video please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So in this video we are going to create this beautiful candlestick chart. A candlestick chart is often used for stock market prices, especially how they develop throughout the day. And for the candlestick chart we need a table like we have here on the left side. You see I have a date, an opening value, a highest value throughout the day, a lowest value throughout the day and a closing value of the day. I also added a week number so we can add a slicer to our chart and I will explain how to create all this. For that we are going to sheet 2. You see I have the same table as on the other sheet and the easiest way to create your candlestick chart is when you have the opening value, highest, lowest and closing value in this order in your table. Well to insert a candlestick chart just click somewhere in your table, go to the insert top in your ribbon, click this button to select the candlestick chart, click and you have your candlestick chart. Well this one looks a lot different from our example. I'm going to explain to you step by step how to create that beautiful candlestick chart. First I'm going to adjust the size of my chart. And well to format our chart we are going to change some things. First I'm going to add a title to my chart. And my title will be oil prices on market. I'm going to format my title with a green color and make it bold. And I'm going to place it on the left side. I also want to remove the outline of my chart, just select your chart, go to the format menu on your ribbon, go to shape outline and select no outline. I also want to delete my legend in here, just select your chart and select your legend in here and you can just press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the legend. Now I want to edit the vertical and horizontal axis on my chart. First select your chart, click on your vertical axis. I'm going to my home top on my ribbon, I want a green text, bold and a little bit bigger. For the horizontal axis you see I have a date and a week number. I only want the date on my horizontal axis. And for that you can just right click somewhere in your chart, go to select data, click on your horizontal category axis labels, click edit and you see it selected the week number and the date. I just select the date, click OK and my week numbers are gone. Excel did automatically select the week and the date for the axis. Now I only have the date so this is what I want. I'm going to adjust the formatting, just click your axis, I give it a green color, bold and a little bit bigger and now I have my axis formatted. There's one thing I want to change about my axis. You see in my table are only the weekdays while the market is closed in the weekend. And you can see the chart is also displaying the weekend days. I want them gone and there's a little trick for that. You can just select your horizontal axis, press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard to open the format axis menu. And on the axis options menu there's an option to select text axis. When you select this option, I can close this one. You see all the weekend dates are gone out of my chart and I only have the working days where the market is open. Well you see the candlesticks have a black and a white color, where I had green and red colors in my example. We are going to change that now. You see the white bars are for the values going up throughout the day and the black bars are for values going down on that day. Well first we are going to change these white bars into green bars. Just click on one of the white bars. Click console 1 for the format up bars. Make sure you select the bars going up. You can check that here, the up bar options are selected. And I want a gradient fill with two gradient stops on the beginning and on the end with these green colors. And they are already selected, but if you want to change them you can click on the gradient stop in here. Select another color in here, for example yellow. And you have another color. You can also select the other gradient stop and pick another color for that one. I'm going to go back to my light green color for this one. And you see the bars are colored green. 
Now click on one of your down bars. You can check if you selected them in here. The down bar options are displayed in here. And also here I want a gradient fill. And I don't want the green color, but I select the first gradient stop. I pick a red color and I select the second gradient stop and I select a darker red. Now I change the colors in my chart. And another thing I want to change is the outline of my bars. I don't want an outline. So I can go to the border in here and I click no line. I will do this also for the bars going up. Select them and select no line. I also want to format the high and low lines. There are these lines. Select them. Again, make sure you select the high low line. You can check it again here. High low line is selected. And I want a double line. I have to make it a little bit wider to see that. And I want to give it a dark blue color. Well, now you see our chart is looking like the example. You see the bars are showing the opening price and the closing price. And where the bar is green, the price has gone up that day. And where the bar is red, the prices went down that day. And you see the high-low lines for displaying the highest value over the day and the lowest value over the day. The last thing I want to change on my chart is the gap width. There's a lot of space between the bars and I can just select one of the bars. Make sure I'm on the series options menu and I can lower the gap width to, for example, 40%. I can close this now and you see I have a lot wider bars. The last thing I want to show you is how to create the slicers to zoom in on a specific week. Well, for that, we first need to create a table from our data. Just click somewhere in your data, press the short key, Ctrl and T. Well, my table has headers. So I leave this box checked, click OK, and I created a table. I don't want Excel to mess up with my formatting. So when I select my table, I can go to the table design, click this little arrow here, and click None. Well, you see the original formatting is back. Well, now you can see when my active cell is within my table, I have the option for the table design on my ribbon. When I select a cell outside my table, you see the option is gone. So make sure your active cell is within your table. Go to the table design tab and click Insert Slicer. Well, now Excel is asking me on which column I want to filter my data with the slicer. Well, I want to filter on the week number, so I select week and I click OK. I get a slicer with all the week numbers. I place it here, make it a bit smaller. And I want it to have a nice green color like the rest of my data. So select your slicer, go to the slicer tab on your ribbon, and here at the slicer styles I can choose a green color for my slicer. Well, I cannot yet filter my data with a slicer, and I will show you why that is, because when I click week 28 in here, you see my chart is all messed up. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Clear my filter with this button. Select my chart. Press again console 1 for the options. Make sure you select the chart options in here. Go to the size and properties. And under properties you need to select don't move or size with cells. Because when I filter my data, Excel will hide all the rows where my week number is not valid. And my chart is also on these rows, so my chart will also be partly hidden. And when selecting this option, my chart always stays the same size. So close this. Again, filter on week 28 and you see my chart is staying the same size. And clear my filter again and all the weeks are shown again. So this is how you can create your own candlestick chart with a slicer. Let me know in the comments if you managed to create your own candlestick chart. And if you liked the video, please give the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos. Thanks for watching.